As I swear you in today to take out of office, I challenge you. I brought in a man of God. I brought in the man who knows the law. I brought in the youths themselves. And I brought in an experienced judge to come together and give opportunity for people who have been brutalized to ventilate, to speak out for those who have lost loved ones, whose loved ones have been maimed, killed, whose source of income and business has been destroyed by SARS and the police. Please, this is the time for you to give them the patience and listen to them. It is not just enough to listen to them. It is only reasonable when we start a proper compensation of all the pains that have come. So as we confront the challenges of our times, with our young men helping to open our eyes to the reality that leadership in the course of time has failed them, we all must agree and admit that those of us who found ourselves in the position of leadership at this point in time have all failed and we must take that collective responsibility as a failed system by the black people. It is time for us to develop that consciousness, face this reality, and agree with the young people that something has gone wrong. This has nothing to do with one administration or the other. It is a cumulative cascading effect of the rot and miasma that has accumulated over the course of time. I cannot explain why a young man will come out of the university five, six years down the line, no job. Ultimately, struggling to earn a living, and every day in the street, he gets brutalized. In the course of searching for an independent source of livelihood, he is confronted with every single day, either his taxation or his police. Time has come when we must ask ourselves, is this the kind of childhood we had? If it is no, we must stand up against it. We must insist that the young men must be given opportunity to grow, just the way we saw prosperity in the course of the provisions that government made for us. It is our time to provide the same for them. And that's why it's time with the young people of this country to say, we must put an end to SARS. And we must put an end to police brutality. I will ask that all Crossivarians who school in Cross River State University of Technology will suspend the payment of school fees indefinitely. I also ask that for every single young Crossivarian who has no job, who is out of university, who has finished youth service, immediately after your youth service, if you don't have a job, Cross River State will start a program of NYC extension. So you return to Cross River State, extend your NYC by one year to give us opportunity to find a placement for you. For the 20,000 jobs that I have asked that be created immediately, you must ensure that those who benefit from this job are between the ages of 40 and down and not above. And it shouldn't be for politicians. It should be for those young men who are struggling to make a living. I believe that that will water down the bloodscopy that has characterized our landscape in the last few weeks. It shouldn't be a thing that is reduced to politics, to party, or the issue of family. It must be a thing that you must put your conscience above any other decision-making process. That's the only way we can guarantee peace. I therefore believe strongly that your committee, as chairman, must recognize those young challenges, those young school leavers, those fresh graduates, and all of those people. That is part of why restitution is part of your scope. To see how you can provide beyond what I have said, alternative means of mopping up all the unemployed young people in the state.